Unfortunately, um, there have always been bad actors who try to trick people out of voting by disseminating inaccurate or misleading information about how to vote, when to vote, and where to vote. And unfortunately, voters of color and voters who speak languages other than English are often the target for these kinds of nefarious efforts. This information has always existed. What's different now is just that the social media platforms have created this just really like incredible and rapid way of information to spread that comes right to our phones and sometimes even you know to different countries because this is a global phenomenon. So that's I think what's different. The the the, the way in which we are consuming information has changed. And that has created sort of this monster that we you know, are not able to uh, control. And many times the platforms are not able to control. Misinformation related to the US politics and public safety problems um, are running rampant. Before 2020, when Trump tried to ban WeChat, there were few Chinese people using Telegram, but afterwards, when people were worried about uh, which had might be uh, banned soon, a lot of people just ran to Telegram. So Telegram now is a hazard zone because there's uh, no boundary on Telegram in, in terms of uh, misinformation.